go. The Siege of Charlestown. No! no! You don't want it for your wives and families and countrymen. How else to explain your government's complete disinterest in your well-being? Hostages for nonsense! These were my only terms. Yeah. Six days of pure fucking silence. Fucking silence. I gotta learn that. <laughs> so I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. By Christ! This is my predicament. To kill you for the oppression of my servant. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. The hell's he doing? He's always the bastard. We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, since. I'll handle it. Give me a day. Or just a few in-game minutes. Do we actually get to go to Charlestown, or are we just sailing along the waters of Charlestown? There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. Where does it say we are on the map? Just in the middle of nowhere. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet that someone out there has prepared the medicines. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. Thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Catch the wind. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. Trapdoor's got to do business here in some shallow waters. Clue up, short and sail. Loose the stunts. How am I supposed to tail this fucking boat, man? What's the captain thinking? This boat ships with no way to turn. Dude, there's no way. The whole area was coated in yellow. The whole area. There's no way to get past that. Oh, I gotta do a stealth mission in a fucking boat. Oh, these missions drive me nuts. What? I gotta see the whole cutscene again? There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? Dude, this is good. I'm gonna fail this every single I time. Something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring. Uh, I, I'm never gonna beat this. This is, oh my god. I hate these stealth missions where you gotta. Oh, I'm in the boat. Oh, fucking circle. So now, now what I've got to do is look.
dude, this is the problem. Look, it's like I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this because Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet someone out there has prepared the medicines, just in case. Ah, but the story thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find. Where I gotta like, I gotta judge my distance before I do it. And hope for the best. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. Trapdoor's got no business sailing such shallow waters. Ease the train. Leave the town. There's another watchtower. This boat's not really good at fucking turning. Keep her half sail, Captain. Speed will do us no favors here. Let's get moving. Careful with the banks. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! Am I not supposed to get attacked or what? <laughs> Fucking god, dude. Like, I'm trying to rush so that I can get past, so that's why I'm doing it so fast. Like, the game can't make up his mind as to what... What kind of objective am I doing? Am I doing stealth? Am I doing, like, re like rush and tail? Like, what am I doing here? Am I... <laughs> It just doesn't make any sense. What kind of objective is this? Is this a stealth mission? Is this a tailing mission? Like, what kind of mission is this? Make up your fucking mind. That's why I'm getting so pissed because I don't... Because I'm trying to do too many different types of missions at once. I feel like I'm not... If I don't sabotage the bell in time, the game's gonna say, Oh, sorry, you didn't catch the boat. Like, look how... I thought the boat would be, like, miles away if I didn't do it quick enough, but nope. The boat just stays there. The game doesn't let the boat progress, so you could just have enough time to do it. It's like, holy fucking shit, man. I see them. Over there. Let us hope the river remains What is life. wrong with this? Like, I'm just trying to do the mission the way the game wants it to, and I, I can't understand it. Is it... Like, I can't be detected by boat, but I can be detected by land. Like, how does that make any sense? If we, run up if, if we see them in a ship, that means that the whole game, you lose the whole game, but if you get detected while you're not on your boat, you don't. What? <laughs> what? Like, how does this make any sense? And this doesn't make any sense either, because I'm going as slow as I can, and I keep... Oh, God. Oh, Alright, come on. I'm starting to get pissed. Like, these missions with the boats just get so fucking annoying. They're getting away, Captain. Then I'll have to go on without them. I'll be back. With the medicines. Aye, sir. Your turn is yours. Devil. I don't want to turn. Aye. And wait to get your next turn on a forehand of power. That's all. Blast. So I think. Come on, man. Dude, I can't... Oh, my God. What is... Dude, come on. I can't move. Oh, my... Great. No, just fail. Fail the mission so I can start over, please. Fucking crocodile right near me. I don't know where to go. The whole game's fucked up. 
Like, how am I supposed to get over there? This is the way I'm supposed to go? Oh, that's great. I tried going my own way, and I tried doing, you know, think, doing little things di a little differently. Nope. Nope, you can't do that. I'm getting really fucking frustrated with this game. The mechanics are just not making any sense. Tail the enemy. Oh, no, wait. Be undetected. Oh, wait. Now you can be detected because you're fighting soldiers. Oh, no, wait. Now you gotta skin a crocodile. It's like, holy fuck. Like, make up your mind. One would suppose all this was for gold. Or rum, at least. Nothing but medicine to cure whatever else. Aboard their vessel. Syphilis and scurvy, no doubt. What noxious coffins these pirate ships must be. <sighs> and they want me to skin a shark for 100%, really? <laughs> thing that's not pissing me off right now is the music, which is pretty soothing, actually, for fucking music. How do I get detected? Fucking shit. Almost there. Good. Captain Wyatt is not a patient man. Hello! Is that Raider yonder? The very same. Then speed along. You're expected. And you know how... Ah, right! It took him! It took him! I told you! Just throw! For God's sake! Throw! What? I don't understand what's going on. Is anyone under is following what's going on in this mission? Because so far the siege of Charlestown is like the, the siege of s stealth slash fu- I don't even know. Apparently I can hide in these bushes, which I didn't know. Is that Raider yonder? The very same. Then speed along. You're expected. And you know how... Oh, a crocodile eats him. Oh, Christ! It took him! It took him! I told you! Just throw! For God's sake, throw! I told you there was something. Didn't I tell you? Oh, God. I just get out of here. Yeah, they saw me. Yeah, they looked up. Yep. <laughs> oh, I am getting. Why is this so frustrating? These tail missions have always been stupid. In every Assassin's Creed game, the tailing missions have been w w really dumb. Whoa. Is that Raider yonder? The very same. Then speed along. You're expected. And you know how. <laughs> Oh, Christ! It took him! It took him! I told you! Oh, no. Just throw! For God's sake, throw! I told you there was something, didn't I tell you? Oh, God. Let's just get out of here. It's so dumb. Like, oh, if he's not in your sight, the timer starts going down. But if he... It's like, what? That's another thing that fucking pissed me off about this game. Drop. Well, I gotta wait for these guys to move. I apologize. There was an accident. Private Simon! This, this crocodile. I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives. Near as we could tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town. 
and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that metal. Howard, get back here! Down. Nothing. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. Who's ringing the bell? Calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Apprehend them! Die like a man. Oh, now they know I'm here. Stop him! Do something! Yes. Acrobatics. Holy shit. What? Dude, I did that perfectly. <sighs> this is getting really, really dumb. Oh, I didn't catch him in time. You lose. I can't go any faster. Do something, you fools! Uh, I could shoot him, but I'm not too sure that would work. Because he's going way too fast. Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. Okay, that mission, man. Holy crap. You're just doing so yeah, many things. Captain. Sneak, then attack, then sneak, then attack, then chase the guy, then it's like, oh my god. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, Finally got the fucking medicine, the thing we wanted all along. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? You should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor. He's bound to muster more soldiers. Uh, you go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage... I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain another year. He's retiring. We'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. Why was the... 
Now, see, this doesn't make any sense. Why are the optional objectives all about fucking crocodiles? You sleep darts on a crocodile and skin a crocodile. I thought the mission was to tail the soldiers. Why am I going to be using sleep darts on crocodiles when I have an objective of tailing soldiers? Oh my god. Like, I could understand if, like, a side objective was, you know, don't be detected by those initial soldiers where you have to sabotage the bell or, you know, don't get detected by any alarms or some, some crap like that. But nope. Skin crocodile. <laughs> hey, you didn't skin a crocodile. You won't get 100%. Oh, wow. I got you play points for that. What the fuck? What the fuck are you play points for? Maybe I'll go buy a fancy background. I think you can buy, like, the, uh, the themes for your Xbox with them. IDVA wanted to talk with us about oh. putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Oh, good. We get to do more hacking now. Oh, boy. There. I'm right to do this. Over here! Oh, hey, hey Hot Lips, are we going to get coffee? Ooh, actually, never mind, I take that back. She got, you got hair like Lady Gaga, I don't want this. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Is this this trailer from, like, the beginning of the game that you see? Like, when, when you don't press any buttons, the game plays? Or maybe this is an actual trailer that Ubisoft made. Then, we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and... Sorry, his ship, not boat. But jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes, and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously, we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. Hmm. Why is the traffic like going through each other? <laughs> sorry. Maybe not everyone has good eyesight when they play this game, but I'm able to tell that those cars are not going through each other properly. I'm very perceptive. What kind of guy carries his notebook around all the time? Look, it's always on him. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right- Hi, Melania, so you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. You know what the other weird thing is? You always, long. you always are in Abst uh, Abstergo facilities. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Head to the right of Olivier's office. Uh, and if the receptionist complains, act like you're using the toilets. It's funny because in every if you need to use the toilets, they're just here on the All right. right, shut up. In every Assassin's Creed game, the Abstergo facilities are in other countries other than the United States. Like the one that you don't find out that the one that Desmond was in was in um, Italy, and now this one's in France. They're all in like European countries. It's kind of weird. Why do they call them toilets? Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level two security clearance. Oh, I'm so sorry. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control station first. I'll update your communicator. Stergo be creeping. Oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. Navigate between numbers using the left and right on... Uh... type of hacking, huh? It works. And if we want information on assassins or Templars or the Observatory or whatever the fuck else interests us, Olivier, you will deliver it. Full stop. Uh-huh. I understand that, 
Leticia, I'm sorry if that came up wrong. We are not trying to be a bottleneck here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works. Hmm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Letitia. Rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. And thank you. The both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. L looking forward to it. Bye-bye. It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? We do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. So they want to find the observatory for their own needs. Crazy talk. I'm curious about this shareholders meeting, though. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you! <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life, so do as I say. Now, step over to the window. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to take a sticky note. <laughs> I don't want to go to a place called Vertigo just yet. And then in Submit, yes we submit that by being ourselves the product of an advanced yet earthbound race of intelligent humanoids we must also therefore be tools ourselves. Oh boy, it's more propaganda of the first civilization, how fucking lovely. Alright, with level 2 access we'll be able to do a lot more hacking, but I guess we have to take a leap of faith according to the crazy man who I still don't know who it is. Whoa. You can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did he know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was faked, right? So, anything's possible. Moon landing was faked, according to the Templars. It was all a big plot. If you played Assassin's Creed 2, you'd know that. Either you walk through that door, or throw yourself off the terrace. Those are your options. Can I do option two? Oh, I want to... That'd be cool if you could. That'd be really cool if you could. Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Make it snappy. We're looking for the share... Whatever, I got it. Oh boy, another one of these. Oh. All right. I almost did that first try, man. First try. I actually like that hacking. Well, I mean, I'm going to regret that in a few minutes, I'm sure. To Melane. One way. Christopher Darby. November 6, 2013. That's what date. Oh, wow. It's like a. It's a, just about a year. Oh, I forgot to turn these off. What the hell is going on? No, I don't want this. It's a year after the events of the first. Of the third game. Salute! As much as you know, I'll be attending the Chicago shareholders meeting from the 15th to the 17th. They'll want to see our progress from the Kenway line. The small amount of data we have already gathered is incredible, and we anticipate even more. Amazing finds in the near future. The events and people we have seen so far make us confident that the complete experience will be one of the most eye-opening explorations of piracy ever seen. At the same time, Abstergo Entertainment will soon be announcing a closed beta for our new consumer cloud interference app. 
Edward Kenway's virtual pirate experience will be the first complete product on offer from the first of its kind anywhere an immersive interactive pirate experience drawn from actual stories data. So this leads to a broader question what other experiences would we like to offer? What other historical periods and locations can we explore? Judging by our current rate of data retrieval, our capacity to produce and our understanding of consumption trends, executives of Sturgo ind Industries have given me the goal of producing one complete virtual experience per annum in addition to smaller offerings. As our research allows, this includes books, recordings, films, blah, blah. A second related question is this. The sample 17 contain enough compelling data to sustain our current commitment to it? Or should we make a request to Abstergo Industries for additional archive data? Remember that data from sample one proved fruitful enough to create our liberation product. It is very likely that research into sample two through 16 would bear surprising fruits as well. Now you wanna know the very funny thing about this email before I split the video because it's going really long. This email is almost directly asking the player what they want from the next Assassin's Creed game, okay? Because look at this. They're saying this is basically just like a, sp a spoof kind of on what Ubisoft does as a company. And so it's basically saying, you know, we've released so many games from Desmond's bloodline. You know, you're, go you're seeing Edward Kenway through his memories. So do you want us to do a new story in Des from Desmond's, you know, bloodline of um, Assassin's? Or do you want us to do something different? And the Liberation is Assassin's Creed Liberations, which I never... That was for the Vita. I know it's coming out as a new game, but I never played it. So they're basically saying that. They're basically... This is a for the game. This is for the game, like, the whole entertainment branch of Abstergo. But it's also asking, you know, the player, what would you want from a new game? Because obviously... I guess it's a, it's a fair bet to say that they'll release another Assassin's Creed game later this year in, you know, fall 2014. If not, I mean, that would be a historic move if they didn't, if they waited until 2015 to make a truly next-gen Assassin's Creed game. Which I'm actually, I'm actually kind of excited because this is going to be the next, you know, true next-gen Assassin's Creed. Because this game was on four different consoles, so you really couldn't see the difference. Same thing with Ghosts in Battlefield 4. You had the situation where it was on four consoles, so it's kind of tough to tell the difference. When a game is solely made for the next-gen, then you'll definitely be able to know that it's really good graphics. But um, I don't know if that'll be the case with the next game or, you know, when it'll come out. And it's safe to say that the time period we're going to get is going to be vastly different. Because this time... this game is basically still related to Assassin's Creed 3 and everything that happened because it's the grandfather of the main character that you play in Assassin's Creed 3 so the location that they have in this game is going to be totally new and it's not going to be connected to to the Kenway family you know because you got Connor Kenway who's related to his grandfather who you play in this game so we're going to have a game that's not related to Ezio or the Kenway family so or Altair so that's basically what they're saying and they're asking you in this do they do what do you want you know it, what would be and it, it's kind of funny because the f opening part of this tells you attending it's almost like they're having a meeting like a, a Ubisoft is having a meeting about what they should do for the next game the events of people we have seen so far make us confident that the complete experience will be one of the most eye opening for piracy ever to date I don't know about this, the, the cloud app, if that's true. Yeah, so that's kind of funny. All right. 